We just finished installing siding on this house and we used a unique product. This is steel siding from a company called Vic West. If you're familiar with vinyl siding, you'd likely be able to install this product pretty well, although there are some differences. Just aesthetically, for example, you'll see that instead of mimicking lap siding, this product horizontally mimics uh, nickel gap siding and the same material can be installed vertically to look like a uh, board side. When you start to work with the product, you will notice there are some differences between working with steel and working with vinyl, some things that we got to know quite well over the last couple of weeks. It has the same kind of lock edge on the bottom and nailing strip on the top. Just like with vinyl, you start with a starter strip at the bottom of the uh, wall and you hook your first piece onto that and you work your way up, leaving the screws a little bit loose, just like you would with vinyl. But what makes it really different from vinyl is that you are working with a different material that takes different tools to cut. When you get the materials, the instructions, the installation instructions recommend using a chop saw with a metal blade, a circular saw, a jigsaw, uh, and of course nippers. When you're getting into a steeper angle, we originally started with a jigsaw or with the nibblers, both of which were a little bit too rough. And so eventually we ended up switching to the circular saw, which we pretty much used the circular saw and the chop saw for, for all of our cutting going forward once we settled into that groove. And speaking of that, you figured out a way to locate the vertical pieces in the J-channel as you went without, without them dropping to the bottom of the channel and having it be open at the top. Yeah, so when you're running the horizontal pieces, you're basically just evenly spacing it between whatever is on both sides, whether it be a J-channel or a, a corner trim, and then you set a screw and it just hangs there. But if you're running a vertical piece, you're always gonna be running it into a J channel on the bottom. You want to leave that gap for expansion. So what we've done is we've ripped a little shim out of wood and we slid that in there. And each time we placed a new piece into the J channel, we would rest it on top of that shim, put in the first screw at a point that would hold the piece up and then we'd slide the, the shim out in order to use it for the, the next course. Well, another thing to note about this product is that it's steel. It is easily scratched during the installation. I mean, so you do have to be extra careful when you're installing pieces not to scratch them. Uh, fortunately, Vic West gives you a touch-up pen and we just kind of incorporated touching up the pieces as part of our process as we went along, whether we saw the, a little scratch when we were cutting the material or whether we saw it during installation. I really enjoyed working with this material. I would certainly put it on my own house. It takes a bit more time than most other siding materials that I've worked with, even ones that are similar to it, just because you have to be a lot more precise with the cuts, with the metal. You don't have as much flexibility mm -hmm. as you do with other things. But I think that's also what makes it really nice. The details are yeah. just very tight and sharp when you're done. And uh, it just looks sharp. Yeah. 